So I'm making a bunch of different rugs or I'm making three large ones, basically. So, I burped. With all my free time, I started toughening. And on this channel, I'm gonna share everything I learned and how you can be successful tufting too. Okay, so you made it to the second video, which means you decided to start tufting and trying to make money, or at least have a hobby. Right now, I'm gonna share some uh, advice about this tufting cloth. Now, you can find a bunch of videos about this, so I'm not gonna go too deep into it. I go to Amazon, some people go to tuft, uh, tough the world and whatever all those websites you got they're all linked to the same thing you're not fooling me anyway um tough and cloth lines on it uh like orange lines that go straight up and down or left or right whichever way you like to put it on so basically i go to amazon you can get a bunch of different uh size lengths widths whichever one fits your frame or whichever however many rugs you want like it, that's on you man like mine is like 50 something by 50 something so i'm getting this big thing and it usually lasts about three different canvases right so i'm making a bunch of different rugs or i'm making three large ones basically so let's go ahead and stretch this thing out you can watch how i do it you want to make sure it's real tight man pluck that thing pow 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 you want it tight, tight. You want it tight, tight. As, strong, as hard as you can pull it. And you want them lines nice and straight. If you're going this way, nice and straight. I stopped going horizontally. For some reason, I started putting holes in my, in my rugs. I didn't like it, so obviously I didn't like that. So I started going up and down with the, with the vertical lines. Smooth sailing since then. So I suggest up and down with the vertical lines. Pull it real tight. Mm -mm 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 -mm, and watch how I do it. Yeah. All right, so we're ready to put the tufting cloth onto the frame. Like I said, you want these sharp little thing things right here pointing out so you can pull it tight, all right? You're gonna put the tufting cloth with the lines going vertical, right? Nice and vertical. And you wanna make sure all of them are pretty straight and pretty tight. There you go. So in the beginning, I don't really try to make things look too too good at the beginning, right? You just wanna make sure it's up there. Then you wanna start adjusting it, try to make these lines straight while you're pulling it tight. Tufting cloth, pull tight, mm, pull it tight. Pull it tight, as tight as you can. The lines might not be as perfect as you might think lines should be, but just get it close to as straight up and down as you can and just pull it tight, all right? Once it feels firm, it's gonna have a little give, but once it feels firm, then you're ready to tough. If it's too loose, it's not gonna work out for you. I promise you. All right, we done. Pulling it real tight up on that frame, right? So we're ready to tuft, right? Wrong. Wrong. <laughs> we're not ready. We gotta string this thing up with this yarn, all right? So this is where your frame comes in at. Did you make your own? How did you make yours? How did you construct yours? Did you buy the kit? I never bought the kit, but we're gonna discuss this in the next video. And we gotta go. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow, Whatever y'all got to do, hit me on TikTok at Rough and Rugged. Hit me on Instagram at Rough and Rugged. If you want a rug, hit me up. If you need some advice, hit me up. 
that's all. Gotta go.